Hello, my name is Eli Varvarigo and I am 19 years old. I am majoring in music performance at the American College of Greece. I got the opportunity to participate in the Be My Voice project done by the Anna Lynn Foundation, um, and which offered me an opportunity to participate as an artist by drawing inspiration from stories uh, by various people. I chose to draw my inspiration from uh, the, cate the category of terror, uh, which talked about the difficulties of the life of a Syrian woman who um, endured um, an awful marriage, an invasion of a terrorist uh, group in her country, but nonetheless survived and continued her life um, and eventually uh, became a bit happier compared to what she had been through before. Um, there is a really vibrant narration to this text which alluded to uh, a scenario for me. As an aspiring uh, uh, composer for film music, uh, I wanted to create a story uh, that would in three pieces tell and describe, uh, describe what this woman went through, give a glimpse of her world and other events that took place in it. So there are, as I said, there are three pieces. The first piece is called 17 years. When she concludes her text, um, this woman says that she had been silenced for 17 years and that she now decided to break this silence and share this story with the world. And I'm so glad that she did because it showed me the power and immense um, force that drove her to survive, uh, not just survive for, for her, but for her children as well. So 17 years is supposed to introduce the listener to, the, to her world. Um, since uh, the, this lady is from Syria, I tried to um, put in some like uh, Eastern, um, let's say, uh, intervals that would help the listener understand from which part of the world the music is. It's the longest piece in duration, but I think it gives a great opportunity for the listener to ease into the world of this character.
this is called terror it talks it doesn't talk it's about the events that took place surrounding the invasion of the isis terrorist group in syria this particular event traumatized this woman who lived in fear constant fear every day and was eventually forced to flee her country because of the brutality caused by these people um, in terms of music and melody it's quite different from the first piece and that's done on purpose because i think that you will get the feeling of like running for your life that's what i wanted to to pass to the piece children's mother that is the title of the story the of the story the woman wrote she gave this title to the story so i decided it would be the most fitting to have to dedicate this piece to this strong proud woman who despite all odds managed to educate herself and make a living for herself only to have this taken away by uh a bad marriage, a terrorist attack, but nonetheless she managed to pull through and save herself and her children by going away to another country. As I was reading the as I was reading the text, I read that she learned how to knit, and that was a primal part of her personality. Um, so while I was reading the text, I made a note to try to um, somehow show this knitting process in my music um i didn't while composing i didn't understand how i uh, how it happened but from some very close friends that listened to the music they told me that it alluded to this particular emotion so i'm very glad that this happened so to close to sum up um i'm really glad that i got to work on this story and get to know this woman who lives so far away from me um, it's amazing sometimes how words can connect and how that how easily i felt like i was living next to her sharing her pain and i only wish that somehow someday this music that i wrote reaches her ears and she gets to listen um to a fellow person fellow human who sympathizes with her and praises her for who she is and dedicates this music to her. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.